uh, and to continue rallying, rallying in our fight uh, for justice. It's been um, one year since Mr. Floyd's life was taken from him by our broken and racist criminal justice system in America. And yes, I uh, had the privilege to uh, attend Mr. Floyd's funeral on your behalf in Texas. And I want you to know um, that his funeral reminded us, and everyone who spoke, uh, his, his daughter, reminded us then that day that the world would never be the same. He was murdered at the hands of police. His calls for help ignored by those who swore to protect and serve. And since that uh, very fateful day, hundreds of thousands of people, including yourselves, demanded justice, have marched, took to the street to fight systemic racism in his memory, and the world began to pay attention. Black and brown communities were tired of living in fear, living under oppression. We should not have to fear those who have taken an oath to protect and serve everyone. We cannot have a system of policing in which some communities feel safe and others feel targeted. Black and brown communities cannot and should not continuously endure this trauma. The public health and economic crisis of the last year has highlighted and shown a light and illustrated the presence of systemic racism and structural inequality in America even more clearly. There is so much work to be done to root out the systems that keep black and brown communities fighting for their lives. Yes. Fighting for our lives. Yes. But we're on our way, and I want to thank our young people for staying the course, because this is about you. This is about your lives. Our fight for justice is going to continue on in Mr. Floyd's honor, and it will not stop until all black lives matter. Yes. yes. All black lives matter. Yes. The conviction of George Floyd's murderer does not mean we have fixed the system. The Senate must pass the George Floyd Justice in Policing Act immediately and send it to the President's desk for a signature. Yes. Creating a national standard of accountability. Yes. Ending, yes, qualified immunity. Yes. Improving police training. Yes. These are these are modest steps. Yes. And this is just the beginning. Come on. But we must get this done. Yes. And so as we remember, commemorate um, a year since Mr. Floyd's death as well as so many others right here in our country. We must all recommit ourselves to demanding systemic change yes. for a more equitable justice yes. system. Yes. The doors to accountability, well, they've been cracked open, but until we realize a world in which Mr. Floyd and so many others were never, ever killed in the first place, hold on, hold on. in the first place, our fight must continue. To quote Brother Malcolm X, said, anytime you beg another person to set you free, you will never be free. Hello. Freedom is something that you have to do for yourself, yes. 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 for ourselves. And so we're here to do just that today, once again, to demand justice, yes. to demand respect, yes. and to demand that black lives finally do matter yes. in these United States of America. Yes. Thank you all again for such, being such an enlightened and a community to fight for justice yeah, each and every day. Yeah.